Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it has been over four months since our last pizza related recipe. That streak will change today. What is going on my peeps? Welcome back to another brand new BuzzFeed test. I hope you're enjoying this whole October pumpkin spice latte Halloween crazed month as much as I am. It's just that best time of year with the weather where you wake up and leave the house in a sweatshirt and end up regretting it by one o'clock because you're drenched in sweat. <laughs> yeah, that time. But anyway, today we got two different pizza recipes for us to try out. One of which Tasty actually deleted off their YouTube channel a while back. I remember seeing this. I don't know when they deleted it and I don't know why, but we're gonna give it a try today and put that up against this one. The Pizza Braid versus the Pizza Twist. Two heavyweights in the appetizer pizza category. Let's get right into the first one. So guys, for the pizza twist, the ingredients and the actual process of making this is as simple as it gets. I started with some marinara sauce and puff pastry sheets. I don't know why I put the pepperoni there, I don't even use it. But one egg and some mozzarella. I started by quickly shredding up a bunch of mozzarella. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times and I don't want to bore you with that. Moving on. The puff pastry sheets, I threw down some flour first and tried to roll them out a little bit. Not too crazy thin. And just about here looks pretty good. So I threw down a plate and carefully cut the circle out. Moved the scrap dough as well as the circular piece off to the side while I did the same exact thing with a second sheet. One of them did end up coming out a bit oval shaped, but we're gonna continue on. So it's pretty much this simple. On a cookie sheet with some cooking spray, I put down the first circle of puff pastry and some marinara sauce, spread it out nice and evenly with a heaping load of mozzarella cheese, layered the second puff pastry sheet on the top, Kind of pressed down the whole thing to kind of fuse it together a bit. Set a glass in the middle and try to cut out equally sized segments around this whole glass. I don't really know what to call these. But once I had that all cut up, I removed the glass and tried to twist each segment like two times at least and some of the cheese was falling out. Wasn't really cooperating too well, but I did the best that I could and got to here. To finish this whole thing off, I cracked an egg and gave that a good mix. I topped the entire dough with this egg. Hopefully that'll allow it to get a nice golden brown color. And finally into a 400 degree oven for about 23 minutes. And this doesn't look the prettiest, I will admit. Just like in Tasty's original video, it kind of flattened out and fused together a bit. It doesn't look terrible though, and we know what's in it, so we know it's gonna be delicious. I tried to cut it up a little bit and serve it with some sauce in the middle like this. So let's give it a try. So I will admit, for the taste test, I didn't select the two most appealing segments on our <laughs> pizza twists. I kind of had to set these two off to the side because my whole family wanted to try it, so I let them eat it. See, I'm a good son. This already has an awesome crunch on the top, kind of like a pie crust. It's really flaky. So, uh, let's see. So before I get into how it tastes, I'll give you an example of why I rarely ever use puff pastry. On the outside and the top, obviously it's nice and brown and crispy. Can you see in the middle where it's straight raw? Look, it's like when you peel out the outer flaky layer, it's just straight like mush in the middle. How's that happen? And before I forget to mention, obviously we all know what both recipes are gonna taste like. I'm testing how easy they are, how well the whole thing composes in the end. And because of that, this thing has to get like a six or seven. We all know what cheese, marinara sauce, and dough taste like. I definitely wouldn't say that these things are worth the trouble, so on to the next one. Recipe number two today is this awesome looking pizza braid. Now this recipe obviously is gonna have very similar ingredients, but it's gonna be prepared a whole lot differently. And I started with the puff pastry. I barely rolled this out at all, just enough to kind of hide the creases. Shredded a bit more mozzarella and threw that down onto my dough first. Now is when that pepperoni comes in that I showed earlier, and I gave that a nice layer on top of the cheese as well. For the next step, you kind of have to cut it at these like weird, angled columns. It kind of reminds me of one of those old study guides in school that you use to like as flashcards. No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> 
but you are going to want to cut off the top triangle and the bottom and once you do that you could fold in both the top square and then the bottom square on top of all of the flaps after you carefully interlaced those across the entire thing. I don't really know how well this is going to hold together to be honest. The flaps aren't very long, they definitely don't go all the way to the other side like in Tacy's video. So we'll see, I guess, but off to the side that went while I mixed up the topping. Two tablespoons of melted butter, along with a clove of minced garlic, some fresh parsley, and some Parmesan cheese. The typical garlic Parmesan topping for really any bread or pizza recipe on this channel ever. And I gave that a very generous brushing across my entire pastry. Is this even considered a pastry, even though it's pizza? Does a pastry have to be sweet? I don't know. You guys let me know. But once it came out of my 425 degree oven for 20 minutes, it doesn't look that great. But I cut the end off because I really don't know how to cut this thing and I'm gonna give it a try. Does this even really look good? I don't know. I feel like it looks like one of those advertisements for a very generic chain takeout pizza place. Again with this crust though, I'm, I like the outside, it's just I have a bad feeling it's not gonna be cooked again in the middle, but... It's honestly just the same thing with that uh, garlic coating on top. The dough is, yet again, a little raw in the middle. I don't know how you would combat that. Would you turn down the heat and leave it in the oven for longer? I'm not sure. Either way, I am gonna go to town on both these recipes, I will not lie to you. Um, so I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed yet another versus BuzzFeed test. If you did, leave me a like down below. Of course, another pumpkin spice video is coming out on Monday, and I'm gonna warn you every single week, we're just gonna get slightly weirder. Like, I'm, I'm warning you now. But look forward to that. Other than that, have an awesome weekend. I will see you right back here for that next video.